Hi, I'm Suzanne Mulholland, also known as The Batch Lady, and on my channel I show you how to make fast, simple homemade meals that you can make in advance, put in your freezer, and use whenever you want. And today I'm showing you how to make cowboy pie. Now, this video comes to you in association with the lovely company Mash Direct, okay? For those of you that know me, you know that I love this product. Um, they do lots of different products, um, lots of veg, lots of side dishes from farm to table. Um, I mean, they basically do the hard work for you, and Personally, as a busy mum, that's what I like. So um, today I am using cheesy mash, their cheesy mash, okay? This cooks um, in about three and a half minutes in the microwave or about 15 to 20 minutes in an oven and um, it just saves you making mashed potatoes. Everything that's in it is gluten-free, it's natural. There's nothing that I wouldn't put in it if I wasn't making mash at home by myself. So it's a perfect, easy one. If you're looking for it, you'll find it in all supermarkets, most supermarkets, and usually around that bit of the aisle where they've got all just the normal veggies. It's in that fresh bit of the aisle, so look out for it there, okay? Right, cowboy pie. One of my kids' favourites, really simple, really easy. We are going to um, use some barbecue sauce, Heinz baked beans, some um, mashed red cheesy mash, and some sausages, okay? So to get started, just open your sausages up. I'm using eight sausages here. These are just Lincolnshire pork sausages. You can choose whatever ones you want, okay? Uh, you can make it fancier with fancy sausages, whatever you want, okay? Add your sausages to a tray. As I'm doing here, Ooh. you're going to put your, so make sure you've got your oven at 180 degrees that is already preheated um, and you are going to just pop these in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're cooked. Then we're going to take them out, chop them up and make our pie. Let's go. Okay, so my um, sausages are out of the oven and I have just chopped them into little bits. So each sausage, maybe chop it into about six bits. Okay, I've done it off camera because you guys know how to chop sausages. That's an easy one. In your sausages go. Now I'm just putting them into one of these dishes that can go either directly from the freezer into your oven or um, vice versa. It can go in the fridge. It basically can do anything. It comes with a plastic top on the top. So they are very good for this. So sausages in and next you're going to add your beans. Now, obviously, if you were making this from absolute scratch, you'd have to have washed your potatoes and you'd have to have peeled them and you'd have to have parboiled them and all that sort of stuff. This is so much easier, okay? Um, Mash Direct is owned by a lovely family called the Hamilton family and um, their factories and their fields are in Northern Ireland and they are a real farming lovely family. So um, it's a really nice story behind it if you ever want to go and check it out. Now, you'll need two tablespoons of barbecue sauce okay you can add a bit more if you want depending on how much your family like it and all I'm going to do is mix that around that barbecue sauce is going to give that lovely cowboy sort of feeling so this is a great dish if you've got little kids you're just getting used to getting back to school and um, you need a meal on the table fast after school clubs are starting back up all that sort of thing this is a great one you can have ready in advance and all you're doing is throwing it in the oven to heat okay absolutely perfect right open up your cheesy mash pull it off and all you have to do is crumble it slightly over the top okay making sure it just covers it like a pie top Okay, this is the second one going on now. Just covering the whole top of it. The cheese is already in that. When you cook this, you're gonna cook it for 40 minutes at 180, okay? You could make one for now and make one for the freezer. That's what I'd do. I'd have, I'd be making one, one just now and the other one right beside it. One for now, one for the freezer. One's going in the oven. The next one's going in the freezer. Next week when you come to a busy school night, you can just pull it out of the freezer and put it directly in. If you're putting it directly in from the freezer, just remember it's going to take about double that amount of time. So probably about an hour from frozen, okay? Um, if not, just leave it to defrost. It'll be done in 40 minutes. Guys, that is how you make cowboy pie um, with Mash Direct Cheesy Mash. I hope you've enjoyed. Take care. Bye.